It's Entertainment Schmick. And it's brought to you by Shane Company. Your ring will be unique. Well, we know Mariah Carey's most famous Christmas song. It has a nice ring to it. All I want for Christmas is you. And she performed it last night at the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. Here's what it sounded like to people who watched it on TV. You got up there, hit the notes, and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. right. There is some drama behind this, and it unfolded after our show yesterday. We talked in the 840 Schmig yesterday about how Mariah Carey was asked not to show up to the the big ceremony, the big special, because she was supposed to rehearse on Tuesday night— and was more than three hours late. And oh, when I she thought they showed were up, taping her well, on they were Tuesday taping. night. They, they were, were. But mm-hmm. not rehearsed. Taping her segment. They were taping her segment. When she showed up three hours late, they said, sorry, we don't need you. And they were going to take someone else and just extend their performance. Pretty it, impressed by that, by the way, for NBC. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Saying, we don't Kick need you. the curb. Yeah. Right. Good for them. So they were going to give Leanne Rimes a little bit extra time. And she tweeted something, and uh, I think the tweet has since been deleted, but she made reference to the fact that because of all the Mariah (laughs) drama, she got a little extra time. Well, not so fast, Leanne. I think NBC was a little fed up with her, and they went back to Mariah and said, okay, you can perform at the tree lighting after all, but you're going to have to go live. We're not going to be able to tape it now. They went to her yesterday morning and said that, and... I was in the office and I said to Guy, ooh, this is going to be very interesting because sometimes in the rehearsals, you know, when they're taping, it doesn't go well. You just do another take. She had one take last night and here are her isolated vocals. Oh, I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. So make my wish come true, cause baby, all I want for Christmas is... How did we get that? (laughs) Someone at NBC who is not happy and took her feet. I mean, someone's going to get in trouble for the fact that this leaked. Don't you think these musicians now would have a thing in their contract, their writer? It wouldn't matter. Somebody do it anyway. They did it to Linda McCartney. But they could sue them at least. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's happened to Britney Spears. It's happened to almost Linda every artist. Don't you remember when they did that? They did that isolation yeah, thing. That I was do. the very first I remember. Yeah, I know, right? What's the difference between Mariah Carey and a terrorist? Oh. You can negotiate with a terrorist. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Diva. Let's hope Where's my rim shot? Let's hope NBC's live attempt tonight goes better. Peter Pan live. Mini Driver is the narrator. A Taylor Latterman, by the way. Muni Kid. Uh, done good. Yeah, she's, she's going to be Wendy tonight. From Sullivan. Sullivan, Missouri. Can I say this? There is nobody more excited about Peter Pan live than my mother, <laughs> Karen Landrum. She has been talking about it. We've been spending a lot of time together for two weeks straight. She watched the making of, but she does say... I don't know if that Stephanie Williams is going to do as well as Mary Martin. <laughs> Allison yes, Williams. Yes, yes. <laughs> Can't get like the name. 50 years ago. <laughs> well, Mary Martin it set the precedent set the yeah. for the Peter Pan. For the second time. But Mary Martin didn't do it live. Oh. This is live. Kathy Rigby did. That's who I remember. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Christopher Walken as Captain Hook. and I know. It's going to be great to see me sing. You haven't seen it since the Country Bears or the Charo story. <laughs> Christopher That's... Walken actually recently said he can't think of any role he's ever turned down. And I that... take them all. <laughs> He said he's pretty good at saying yes. When you're lucky, you don't push it. He's been lucky, and that's the way his career's gone. But it's interesting the roles that he auditioned for and didn't get. That's right. There's a lot of them. I, I could have been Han Solo in yeah. Star Wars. Yeah, that's what he said. Screen to he, This is how he said it. <laughs> uh, did, did, are we pretending that this is really Christopher Walken? I, he said, I screen tested 
I a, screen tested. For a part in Star Wars that went to Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. For a part in Star Wars that went to Harrison Ford. Right. Everyone knows what that role is. And he also said that he uh, went for Ryan O'Neill's role in Love Story. Love story. That would have been yeah. weird. <laughs> You're just repeating what Jenny. she's saying. Say Jenny. Jenny. Not like <laughs> Forrest Gump, Jenny. I also could have been Forrest Gump. <laughs> but that bro. We'll do a line from that, that then. Life is like a box of chocolates. That's pretty good. That's good. But good, tonight. Good. All right, tonight, yeah. And by the way, very interesting thing, because he plays Captain Hook. Because there was a story out this morning about Natalie Wood. New theory about Natalie <sighs> Wood's death. Mm. And they reopened the investigation, you know, because the, the captain was saying, you know, that's not really how it happened. It turns out that she, someone's saying she caught Robert Wagner in bed with Christopher Walken. And she wanted to get off the ship, get on the dinghy, so to speak. <laughs> And, and get away. Sure. And get away right. and, and go back to shore. And she fell in the water getting the dinghy. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Crazy. Not, and now you're playing Captain Hook tonight. How do you explain I, that? You and Robert Wagner. Hot to heart. <laughs> <laughs> was a great uh, show. Was it heart? Hot to heart. I know. But, All right. Back in the 70s. That's entertainment show. Another big. role I auditioned for <laughs> was Max. More at 840, <laughs> including uh, Jimmy Fallon's new baby born yesterday. I'll have details about that. And you'll find more entertainment schmig online at y98.com.